Okay, hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. Today we have a really cool knife for you from Kaiser. Um, really interesting setup on it, um, a lot of different options. This particular option is the one that I settled on. But first, a little bit about the brand. So this particular knife comes from Kaiser Cutlery. Uh, they were founded in 2012. They're a brand that is made in China. Um, but don't let that deceive you. They actually do put out very nice quality knives, as you can probably see from a couple of my videos um, in my video library here. So um, really their market segment is what they concentrate on is providing uh, high-end knives at really mid-range prices um, as far as kind of the tiers of folding knives go. So a little bit about um, this particular type of knife. It is a titanium frame lock folding knife. Um, so it does have that Reeve integral lock, which is an evolution of that Walker liner lock. So that is what keeps the uh, uh, the blade locked in place. The handle is of course titanium and it does have that integrated frame lock. So um, this particular model is the Kaiser Guru and it is the configuration with the thumb stud and the holes drilled. There's also options to have it in a flipper um, with or without the holes as well as the thumb stud with or without the holes. But before we get um, too much into this particular piece, let's go ahead and squeeze in the customary wristwatch check. Today, I have the Armida A1. This is the brand new batch for 2017 that actually has the um, orange seconds hand added and the date for a couple of other dial options. This particular dial option is the Sunburst Blue. You know, unfortunately, uh, the date window, as you can see, is already starting to turn over um, because I'm filming this in the evening time. It's getting a little bit closer to midnight and that Seiko movement does begin uh, the trend, the date transition pretty quick. So um, I chose this because it's a nice, you know, beefy piece, really no nonsense. And uh, similar to this knife here, you know, I think that you'll find that this is definitely um, just a really utilitarian uh, piece, but the design aspects of it actually, you know, um, play off of that uh, functional side very well so I think it's a nice blend of form and function and and they definitely go and um, you know this is a beefy piece you have it in hand and this is definitely a nice piece on wrist I did the review for the black version not too long ago and I pretty much called it you know um, a modern SKX alternative so if you haven't already go ahead and search out that video I should also be doing an updated video for this particular model soon but let's go ahead in the meantime get the gratuitous loom shot so as you can see that c3 loom is definitely pumping extremely brightly very legible as you can see the double dome sapphire takes care of any distortion there everything is extremely clear at multiple viewing angles and that loom is just fantastically bright so that is what is on my wrist during this review so if you had any questions about that definitely keep an eye out on the rest of the channel and let's go ahead and get into the outstanding kaiser guru so this particular knife was designed by um matt degnan and basically this is just a play off of you know one of his custom knives and you know kind of in true kaiser fashion they take a you know these really great knife makers and then they do production spin-offs and they add all the bells and whistles so um, as you'll see throughout the video this definitely is very feature rich has all the modern kind of amenities you'd expect in a folding knife um, so let's go ahead and get a little bit into those details. So the retail price on these is $238, um, but the street price, quote unquote, is right under 180 bucks, right around 179. So definitely um, has a lot of competition in that price range, but I think for the specs that are involved, um, you know, there's really not much else that's out there. So 
Let's go ahead and cover a couple of those specs. So this is using, of course, the very popular S35VN um, crucible steel, which is really nice stainless steel. It has a sheep's foot blade, it's hollow ground um, with a nice satin finish. It is pretty sharp out of box, but because it has such a thick blade stock, as you can see, you know, it's, it's not gonna be this, you know, the same type of slicer that you may expect. Um, from let's say you know full flat ground um, blade but definitely does the job um, and is extremely robust and as you can see that tip is not um, going to be a fragile tip at all this definitely um, is a user um, but you know with some nice looks as well so the handle is titanium and bead blasted and has this particular option has the holes in there so the really nice um, beveling on the holes there nice contour on these handles which is really nice to see as you can see also milled pocket clip very reminiscent of the uh, Ursa Minor clip but it is different um, I do have both took a close look this isn't like they just you know took another clip they already had and stuck it on here this has definitely been machined out for this particular model really nice um, you know it's very simple construction as you can see really just the one uh, one standoff there and then the it's really just the pivot bolt holding this all together so just two so that's really nice um, and the simplicity um, you have to really have good tolerances to pull off something like this and as you can see it's definitely finely executed as most of the modern Kaisers that we've seen have been so um, big ups to Kaiser on that one. So dimensions wise they did flash across the screen but we'll cover them again very quickly. The overall length is seven and a half inches. Um, the blade length itself is right at three inches. Closed length is right at four and a half. Now the weight on this is a little bit heavier. Um, I wouldn't call it a heavy knife by any means um, because you know it is about seven and a half inches. It's at comes in at a 3.95 ounces so just under four ounces and I wouldn't say it feels heavy it just feels substantial um, it, you know similar to like a dive watch right it, it's not necessarily a heavy piece on the wrist it just um, lets you know that there's something there and you know in hand this is something you're not going to forget about but it does because of these contours here it does make for a very um, comfortable grip there even you know a couple different and this nice choil here you can even choke up on it and because of that thick blade stock you can really rest your finger right there um, if you really needed to get into some type of precision cutting or you know EDC you know type of chops um, with this but you know definitely um, really feels great in the hand I feel like these contours here work really well um, I wear about probably a medium sized glove so you know um, if you have larger or smaller hands, you know, the ride could differ, but for me, you know, my fingers lock in pretty nicely, and I gotta say, this is definitely another comfortable feeling knife. So those ergonomics are really nice, really feels the hand. Um, action is nice and smooth, very fast, open and close, and because of that thicker blade stock, it makes that close very smooth. Not quite as smooth as the Ursa Minor, um, but definitely, you know, right up there, pretty close. Um, it feels really nice, and as you can see, I'll try not to wiggle it too much, just to give you an idea of how f freely that drops. I don't want to like force it, but you know, really nicely done. Oh, got to get over the detent ball. So, really nice. Not quite as smooth as you know some of their flippers, but. You know, I really thought it was nice to mix it up a little bit, get a thumb stud uh, model. So, really cool there. Of course, it does have those signature ceramic ball bearings uh, in the pivot. So, very, you know, that's really what helps with that smooth, you know, um, deployment there. And the detent is, you know, pretty strong. Um, it, it really, of course, because it also is in a flipper var variant, um, it's going to be a little bit stronger. So, um, 
not going to flip out quite as easily. Um, but definitely, you know, you get pretty used to it as long as your fingers are in the right place. Of course, if you have your finger resting on the lock bar, flipping it out is not going to be easy because of that detent ball. But what I, you know, pretty much have become accustomed to is always trying to either rest my finger here or, you know, right on the pocket clip in, in any case, even if there isn't a sensitive lock bar, um, because it's just one of those things uh, I just try to avoid. So really, really nice. Um, and I, I got to say, pleasantly surprised with this one. I mean, I think visually it was very eye catching and I knew that I was going to, you know, of course I was drawn to the design. I think it looks great, really um, great balance um, in, in kind of that um, almost 50 50 feeling um, blade to handle ratio um when it when closed you know i think that just looks great you can see you know with those holes there just how much this just fills the handle there and of course a little extension there in case you want to put a lanyard on that which is uh, always a nice option so uh you know real winner i wasn't expecting it to to not be i definitely have been impressed you know with the from the gemini to the ursa minor to the uh, mini intrepid there's definitely been great things coming out of modern kaiser these days so really a fine piece i gotta say really cool and one of the nice differences is that this one you know doesn't have the blue anodization so makes a little bit more of a versatile carry and just a little bit more um, rugged because you don't have to worry about these getting worn down or anything like that so in pocket as you can see definitely really nice profile um, lays nice and flat and then because of the contours here your hand is able to navigate right past it very smoothly it's not something that's going to catch onto the side of your hand or be very uncomfortable and although it is a little bit heavier and heftier because it sits you know really nicely in the pocket it's not something that's really going to get in the way of, of you know anything that else that's in there that you need to get to so Really, really nice from that standpoint. So also, as we've covered earlier, you know, the model variants are, there's the, basically you can get it in thumb stud um, or flipper and then with or without holes. So um, I think if I was to get the flipper, I would probably get the one without the holes. I really like the look. I think it actually looks almost a little bit more balanced with the flipper that comes out because then it just kind of elongates the blade a little bit more. Uh, I feel like for the thumb stud version, the blade feels a little bit stubbier, I mean, visually anyway, um, which I think is nice. Um, but I think that the flipper definitely has a, a bit more of that uh, balanced look to it as far as that kind of blade to handle ratio. But here, I think you know, really where it makes its money is in the closed position. So sleek and svelte there. Um, and then you can see the blade just kind of lighting, lighting up those holes there, which is really, really nice. So some comparable options, you know, something on bearings with a thumb stud, you know, um, I would say I'd have to compare it to my uh, Benchmade 765, which I, you know, raved about. Great review. Um, I think that one definitely has a more premium feel. Um, but, you know, I feel like this guy right here has a more usable pocket clip. Um, that was one of the things I complained about the 765 as the pot clip was just a little bit slim, a little bit uh, more for form over function. This piece definitely feels, you know, very functional. Uh, as far as the action goes, I would I would probably give the edge to the Benchmade. I think the action on that and the bearings on it are just fantastic. This feels good and definitely very smooth and controlled. Um, but you know, of course, the uh, the Benchmade, uh, yeah, that's an M390 model, so it's it's really just has a little bit more. Um, it's 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 more of a special knife for Benchmade, so it's just a little bit more dialed in. You know, I feel like it has a nicer detent, and the action is also nice. Um, and of course, the blade steel is very nice. This one is more of a user, I feel, and um, and definitely much cheaper. Um, you know, because that Benchmade is right around 300 bucks. So. Um, 
I think that, you know, this is probably one of the best EDC knives for the money. Uh, as far as, you know, you pull this out, it's definitely not the knife you would find, you know, at a convenience store, sporting goods store. This is something, you know, uh, people can recognize as, you know, you pull this out of your pocket. It's because you like knives and, you know, you're into kind of that premium carry idea. So um, I think this is definitely a really nice option, especially if you're not into flippers. You know, that's kind of the in vogue thing right now is, um, you know, titanium frame lock flippers. So this is nice to mix it up if you have a couple other knives. But um, if you haven't found anything that really speaks to you, um, you know, that you've seen out there, I feel like this is really uh, a, a nice uh, option there that's, you know, that probably uh, deserves a little bit more press than it's getting because it's just a really, really nice piece. Definitely um, looks great on Instagram if you've seen, you know, pretty much um, this is another one of those uh, knives that's pretty Instagram famous right now. Um, it, you know, with the holes and the design cues, it's just a great looking knife. And, you know, um, I, I think um, the layout is very cool, very interesting. You know, of course, I, for me, I prefer a flipper, um, but in, you know, this particular configuration, this particular knife, I think it's just a really great looking piece. Closed, you know, show side, lock side, open. I mean, this thing is a, is a looker and it also has a great substantial feel to it at the same time, so really awesome so i'll go ahead and wrap it up there sorry this review took a little bit longer to put out um than i had planned i actually got this knife quite a while back um when it was still pretty new i know a couple more reviews have dropped for this guy but that was my opinion and uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you haven't already please hit like and go ahead and subscribe thanks guys all right <laughs>